It's the kind of granular control you expect from a camera designed for what I'll call the expert amateur, if that makes sense. Unfortunately, I'm only an intermediate amateur, and so I did most of my shooting with the Galaxy Camera and Lumia 920 in automatic modes. The first thing you'll notice in the photo comparison is the Galaxy Camera's substantially wider field of view, capturing more along the sides than the Lumia's smaller lens can. Also, while you're not always going to make use of the Galaxy Camera's super-extending zoom lens, the 21x zoom capability does come in handy sometimes, and of course it beats the pants off the Lumia's digital zoom, which is basically just cropping. The Lumia wins, though, on night shots, beating the Galaxy Camera as handily as it beats any other device in low-light conditions. Even in night mode, the Galaxy Camera couldn't pull much detail out of this dark basement, but the Lumia 920 in the same mode almost made it look like I'd turned a light on. Nokia continues to excel in this department. In better lit conditions, the results are harder to quantify. The Lumia sometimes delivers warmer colors, and sometimes it doesn't. Both cameras shine in the daylight. Colors are well-saturated without being too blown out, contrast is good, and so is white balance. Indoor conditions produce more inconsistent results. If you keep the Lumia still, it can actually produce sharper shots. The key is being able to keep it still, which isn't always easy. Manual shutter speed control would really help experts in this situation, but the long exposure times are what gives the Lumia its excellent night capture ability. So it's a toss-up. <laughs>